Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lung Pamai, and in this new series, I'll try and bring you up to speed with VSTO. VSTO stands for Visual Studio Tools for Office, and as the name suggests, it provides tools in Visual Studio to extend Office applications using the .NET framework. These applications are also referred to as Office Solutions and are available for Office 2003 and above versions. Uh, you can either code in Visual Basic or uh, Visual Basic C Sharp, and then you can use the Visual Designers to create custom user interface. If you're coming from VBA programming background, it can be a little bit frustrating because most of the documentations and uh, demonstrations are done using C Sharp. They are very high level and are not beginners friendly. So I'm hoping these videos that I'll be making in this series will help you guys get started and uh, get more into uh, developments using these uh, tools. So before we begin, if you haven't, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for latest updates and also to support my channel. Also, if you want me to make more of these videos, do not forget to leave a like and comment as well. Okay guys, so for you to be able to follow these videos, you'll need to have uh, Visual Studio installed in your uh, computer and MS Office as well. I'm using Office 365 and Visual Studio 2019, but then uh, the previous versions also should be fine. Okay, so before we can create our first project, just make sure that um, uh, Office and SharePoint development workload has been installed. So for example, you can also install it using your installer, Visual Studio installer, this one. Or you can go to your, after you open your um, Visual Studio, click on Tools and click on Get Tools and Features, which will load up this page, okay? So as you scroll down, you'll see this. So check this box and then check all this applicable uh, framework and then click on Install, okay? So once you're done with that, you should be able to see the project. I'm going to close this for now. First, go to File, click New and Project. And then from here, um, we're going to write VSTO. And then, um, so today we're going to create the workbook level, uh, you know, like applications. Uh, from here, if you're using C Sharp, you've, you know, like you can select the C Sharp template. But for us, um, I'm going to be using VB. So scrolling down and select this one, Excel VSTO workbook, and click on Next. And here, let's call this, um, let's call this, this is, you know, like workbook level, okay, file level uh, project. So I'm going to uh, call this maybe Excel app. Okay, that's it. And then just leave the rest as it is. This is where uh, the project is going to be saved. And then, you know, this is the name of the solution. And then just click on create. And here um, we can select uh, existing workbook as well. You can also use the, uh, you know, like to debug or, you know, create a brand new workbook, okay? So for now, let's use um, existing file. This way we are able to um, play around with existing data. So I'm gonna select this file. This is the same file we use in Office Add-ins platform. Okay, so it's uh, loading up. You can see down here, creating project, Excel app. So for VBA developers who are getting excited to, you know, like learn more about VSTO, I think this series is for you. I'm going to share lots of comparison from how we do things in VBA versus, you know, like in this .NET framework. Um, we're going to learn uh, a lot of things um, as it goes on, you know, like uh, if you have any questions, anything uh, that you're interested to learn, do comment below and then we're going to talk about it. Okay, so once the solution is created, it's going to look uh, basically like this. This is the project, these are the references, and then this is our file that we uh, use to create this project, okay? This is the existing file. And you can see these are the sheets, which are, you know, like uh, totally like uh, the VBA environment. This is this workbook, uh, you know, like uh, .vb, and then these are the sheets objects, right? 
And here you can see all the you know like references which are automatically automatically added. So we're going to talk about it uh, in a bit. And here this is the application. Okay, this is the host. Now let's say that uh, for this demonstration for this first video, I'm gonna add a ribbon. So we we have talked about uh, ribbon X in uh, the other series. Uh, so this is gonna be uh, very you know like easy for you to follow, but again you know like uh, this is totally in a different environment now it's much more easier to do your coding reference it you know like creating a panel uh, creating forms you know like forms are much much more advanced um, okay so first I'm gonna go here and click on um, components so I just right click on okay I'm gonna show you again right click add, and then here I'm gonna click on components and from here we'll, we'll select ribbon so similarly here there are so many uh, .NET you know like related other you know Windows uh, forms is also there um, user control is there there are so many things that we can use to enhance the application okay so for now let's just select the ribbon and I'm just gonna leave the name as default Okay, so here you can see ribbon.vb has been added. I'm gonna just leave it as it is, okay? And uh, from from your from your left hand side, you can just expand this box. And once this is loaded, for now I'm just gonna pin that. Um, so this is it says this is tab add-ins built-in. Okay, so this is the built-in add-in tab basically. Now I'm gonna add the button here. I'm gonna double click on it. Okay, so it takes us to, you know, like the, the code panel where you can do your coding. Okay, so in order to toggle Shift F7, like we do in VBA, it's exactly the same. Now, in order to change the label, um, you can go down here and then just look for label. Let's say, um, let's call it this one. And then let's just give it a try message box and then we'll just say hello world okay so again in order to load this application up you can just click on start or you can go to debug and control f5 or f5 okay so f5 is uh you know like to load up without debugging and this one is for debugging so i'm just gonna control f5 which is faster but if you if you're uh you know like when you're uh, working on it and you want to debug later on we're going to talk more about it okay so the first time it starts it's going to be a bit slower but subsequently it's going to be faster okay so it says it's ready down here wait for it to be deployed and then build succeeded it's going to open up our excel Okay, so finally it's opening up. Okay, so once we go to add in step, we will be able to see our button is there. So test, once I click, it says hello world. Okay, so that doesn't do anything much. Um, we'll try more example. So I'm just gonna close this. Again, as I mentioned, um, okay, for uh, for some of you guys, I'm sure you have not seen the RibbonX series. So um, things are much more simpler if you do it here because you have the, you know, like a visual designer. You can drag and drop and then things are much more easier. Now let's, um, okay, before we do this, I'm going to toggle back Shift F7 uh, and I'm going to add a new... Um, new tab okay add a new ribbon tab you can also use this for example from here you can go down and you can also select custom here then this particular tab will become custom but for now i'm just going to leave that as it is and then now we just added a custom tab now let's call this as a demo and then the label 
as well let's call this demo okay so this is our demo so first let's add a group um, okay and then within this group let's add a button and we'll give a label um, right to sell something like that okay now I'm gonna double click Okay, in this uh, example, let's write a value to a cell. So, for example, let's say we want to write uh, it to sheet, uh, let's say sheet 1, sheet 2 must be the, uh, the empty sheet, so let's write it right there. Okay, so globals. So, here globals basically is a static uh, class, which is already automatically added when the project was created. And then this gives uh, this class keeps track of the objects within the environment. So you should be able to access, um, for example, uh, the ribbon, uh, this workbook object, or like the class sheets, uh, add-ins, uh, ribbons, and all this. Okay, so let's give it a try. And then here, it once you type global, you are able to you know like reference to this. For example, let's say sheet two dot, and then you can specify a range, and then we'll hard code a range a one dot value and then within the string we'll say hello world okay let's give it a try so press shift uh, i mean control f5 it's loading up it's much fa faster now Okay, so it's loaded. Let's give it a try. Here is the new ribbon we created, and then this is the button right to sell. Now, once we click uh, right to sell, we're expecting hello world in this particular cell. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to close this. Okay, guys, that will be all for this video. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if so, do not forget to leave a like, and please comment below if you want me to cover any specific topic on BSTO and um, in the next video we'll try you know like going further into how to work with rings and then you know like various uh, objects within Excel and then we'll also visit um, how to create add-ins uh, visit some examples from the word as well Outlook as well we'll learn how to use various components uh, within this framework for example this is a uh, you know like uh, the task pane a ribbon is something we started looking at it but there are lots more we can do this XML is something that we have learned from the ribbon X part of it but we'll talk more about it this is a class we can use the module how to use the module how you can reference it and you know like work um, in your uh you know in your application and then here you have user control you know like forms which are much more advanced and then there are you know like uh the issues like um the date control is not there for 64 bit that sort of issues will be gone and then as you go down here um you know like how to work with databases um this user control um, how to host them in the Windows form. We'll talk a lot of examples and then working with servers and you know how to integrate them with your application. But if you have any specific topic you're interested, do let me know. We'll discuss uh, in detail uh, in coming videos. So guys, uh, thanks again for all your support. I uh, will do uh, as much as possible to share my knowledge and um, it will be very helpful you can if you can share the videos and pass on you know a message to your friends so that we can you know have a bigger community base where we can, all can share our knowledge together so thank you so much for watching i'll you know like uh, shortly publish more videos and then we'll um, we'll see that uh, we'll do our best to uh, bring you up to speed on bsd thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video